Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, we will talk about Windows APIs and system calls. Windows Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs, are a set of functions and procedures designed to perform specific activities like creating and deleting files, creating and terminating processes, managing input and output devices, managing the user interface, etc. These APIs are organized in Dynamic Link Libraries, or DLLs, which are imported by software programs. API names follow a specific format. Each name typically has three sections, a prefix, a keyword, and an optional suffix. The prefix section usually contains words like create, get, set, open, close, etc. The keyword section refers to operating system components like registry, file, process, or library. The suffix section may contain X to indicate that is an extended version of the API. It may also contain the letter E to indicate that the ASCII version of the function is in use or the letter W to indicate that the Unicode version of the function is in use. Some examples of API names are create process, load library, and close handle. Now, let's talk about system calls. They are low-level functions used by user-level code to interact with the kernel. It typically requires special privileges for execution. System calls are most often prefixed with NT, which refers to Windows new technology or Windows NT. Some system calls are prefixed with ZW. Now, let's talk about the common factors and differences between Windows APIs and system calls. APIs, which are functions to perform critical operating system tasks, use system calls in the background. They can be viewed as wrappers for system calls. Developers use both APIs and system calls while building Windows applications. However, system calls are directly used for kernel-specific software, like kernel drivers. Now, I will tell you why you must know about Windows APIs and system calls for reverse engineering. Here, I have opened a DLL in Gidra. In the decompilation section, you can easily see the names of some Windows APIs. It is also possible to find system calls in the code. Knowing how Windows APIs and system calls exist helps a reverse engineer understand the capabilities of a malicious binary. The low-level interaction of the binary with the kernel can be tracked. Here is a project idea for you. Pick a malware sample from your dataset. Decompile the sample using tools like Gidra or Ida. See if you can spot any Windows APIs or system calls being used. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!